what's going on you guys welcome back to another video my name is sticky beats and we just made some really awesome coffee that is a cool little recipe that uh i've been kind of playing around with at home i've seen the whole italian coffee with the frap and that looks cool but doesn't taste nearly as good because it's basically like i think three or four cups of coffee because the amount of, amount you end up using but this is what i ended up kind of measuring out at home and i definitely think you guys need to try it out really good coffee today I thought, well, if we're making coffee, you know, kind of ish from scratch, what would happen if I, if I made all of the sounds, the drums, snares, hi-hats, clap, cowbell, all from scratch, that would be a real test and challenge. Cause I don't know. I just, I haven't seen anyone do that. I think that'd be kind of cool. So let's do that. Let's make all of our drums from scratch. Let's do it. So one thing I will preface this video with as I open up Serum, which is what I'm going to be using, is that sound design is very much a kind of tweak, play around, try a couple of things until you get there. To save you the boredom, I'm going to skip a lot of this stuff, but I'm going to try and capture the gist of everything so that you kind of have an idea. But if you are interested in a tutorial, you know, let me know in the comments and we'll, we'll do something about that. put in our little notes here and then we'll change our to this we'll go to the matrix we'll go to the destination will be global master tuning envelope two and then we'll turn this up a lot we'll take this one and we'll turn this down so envelope two is going to control the pitch and it's going to do the uh, modulation on that there we go now we got a bunch of different little kick drum sounds that one I like. Kick drum complete. So all we do now is normalize, trim, and you can further manipulate it if you want, but we have our little kick drum, call it kick drum. Dun da da da. That's a very simple thing to do. Kicks are easy, easy peasy. Next sound, initialize. Change this to sine wave again. Turn this to macro one. All right, and then we'll record the snare. There's a little snare drum, clean it up. And then obviously, let's see what else we can get out of this snare texture wise. All right, I'm um, got a couple of cool sounds. Maybe I won't be so picky. Cool, I'm gonna be happy with that. All right, let's move on to the 808. Easiest, easily the funnest part, so. And then we go to the matrix, we go to the envelope, we go to the global master tune and envelope two. We're going to try this. Let's see if we can make the plug 808 envelope. All right, there we go. And then we just envelope. Cool. Plug 808. We just made the plug 808. Cool, we got a little 808. We're gonna record that in. Let's move on to, uh, what do we do? Hi-hats and claps? Hi-hats, claps? Cowbell, maybe? So let's let's really test our skills on the hi-hat. The clap cowbell's gonna be kind of a little bit more finessing it, so. And then go in here, menu, initialize preset, turn off oscillator, turn this one on, use it with the volume, and it's not gonna be that easy. Um, we're gonna go in here, change this to EQ, filter out the low end, and you can hear like it has like a tick-tock, 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 tick-tock sound to it, so we wanna, that's why we wanna record. All right, and then high pass, two. All right, we got the hi-hats, fantastic. Took a little time, but we got them done. Next, clap. Initialize the preset, go into da 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 da. No, we want, yes, we need noise. We want to use the envelopes. All right, the last thing is the cowbell. Now, how the hell am I gonna do a cowbell? How do you do a cowbell? It's tricky, but we're gonna do it. It's gonna do it. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go into here. Initialize preset. Go into here, miscellaneous. Ring modulator. 
FM from Bay. Okay, don't take offense to the stupid accent. I just talk like that just as I'm working. There we go. We're gonna record even though it kind of is not as good as we would kind of want it to be, but it's all, like I said, it's trial and error. Some days I get it spot on. And the gist of the sound is there. And that's what's really important right now, that you can tell that, okay, this is some. Okay. We got a little sound now. Let's, let, <laughs> okay. Now we're gonna come up with the, the melodic part of this. Right, everything from scratch. So I'm gonna make one of my more, it's a simple sound, but it's one of my favorite sounds to, to play and work with. Okay, so that kind of brings me to the end of my video here today. Now, if you guys stuck around this far, go ahead and comment New Legends, which if you don't know is the name of the Spotify playlist I listen to when I go for a run, which I'm about to go do right now. I want to close this video out by saying that sound design isn't a skill that everyone needs to know or have, but it is definitely something to meddle with for a little bit, see if it's something you know, you're into, it brings you happiness or whatever. And uh, of course, you know, needless to say, all the sounds that come in my pack, shameless plug, are created by me, recorded by me, sampled by me. And if you like the sounds that you heard in this one, you should definitely check those out. All that to say that sound design is fun. If you guys are sitting at home bored out of your mind, try it out, it'll be fun. And uh, it's time to go get in that workout before we uh, move on to the, the other six projects that we got going on, which are, I guess I can't tell you right now, but they're good things. So, peace.